Here I will explain how to handle what in the system. First we need to identify a new chart of accounts which we create for handling the wet transactions. Go to tools, system tools, bridging. Uh, scroll towards the bottom you can see newly added uh, tax related uh, links. Input tax, output tax, tax visible, etc. So you need to create 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 accounts in the chart of account. For example, input tax. How do you create it in the chart of account? Go to chart of account. Before you begin, make sure that you have logged in as admin in the system. Go to chart of account. Under receivables, you can create input tax and tax receivable. Likewise, output tax you can create under the trades payable. Output tax, tax payable and import tax payable and under expenses you can also put tax expenses under legal or under any section you can create tax expenses. After that you come back to the bridging. Scroll down and for input tax you select the input tax which you created in the chart of account. Then click the update button. Then output tax you select the output tax which you created in the chart of account and click update. Then in tax receivable you select the tax receivable account and click update. That's all and here also import tax everything you have to complete. This is all uh, linking uh, the re relevant account with the chart of account. After that, uh, you can go to tools, uh, administrative tools or uh, system tools, system settings, where you can find some tax related records like sales tax 1, sales tax 2, purchase tax 1, purchase tax 2. Now, there is only one tax which is VAT. You can enter your percentage of VAT sales tax in the tax 1 and in uh, purchase tax also purchase tax 1 you enter the percentage of VAT. There is no save button here you can just uh, scroll to the next record so that record will be automatically saved. Then if you go to inventory purchase inventory purchase You can see tax column here, which is automatically calculated 5% based on the settings you have in the configuration in the system to system settings. So you can see the ledger uh, general voucher for that transaction. You can see uh, input tax has been accounted, the 240 has been accounted here. And it has gone to the import tax payable because it's an imp it is it is identified as import tax because that supplier, for example, the FUF is um, the FUF is um, recorded as a non UAE supplier. Let's go to the supplier master, find the FUF. Say its country is UAE. You need to change it to United Arab Emirates in in order to identify it as a, a local supplier. Any other other than United Arab Emirates will be treated as overseas supplier and will be accorded as such. And in the point of sale also you can see a tax column here which will show you the tax automatically calculate the tax and the tax will be automatically calculated here and when you print the uh, invoice you can see the tax here this is a, here is the tax and also if you have the point of sale all you can see the tax as well 
there is a tax column here total tax and net total and for the those who have uh, tax percentage different for their inventory items such as pharmacies where the medicines are excluded uh, from VAT they have to uh, enter the VAT percentage in the item master itself you can see uh, this item there is a VAT percentage of 5 percent is VAT there is a CST, GST and VAT. You have to edit each item wherever the tax is applicable and you can enter the percentage of tax there. And uh, if you go to uh, uh, report design, let's go to report design. Let's see how we handle the tax. For example, in the begin voice, here we have a new field named Silver Mass Tax 1. Silver Mass Tax 1 divided by exchange rate. Okay, and if you look at the other invoice, the small invoice, report designer, EOS invoice. Here also you can see tax appear in the third row. This is for those who have tax percentage mentioned in the item master against the required item. Here you are entering the percentage of tax here, white percentage from the item master. Okay, and at the bottom here also you are entering the tax and then calculate it calculate the sum so the amount you entered will be inclusive of taxes so the tax will be directed in order to show the actual price of the item so the amount as it is will be shown as the amount which which is inclusive of tax